Hey guys, so if you guys watched Scary Doll Review, I wanted to tell you the creepy backstory of Jerry Lane and where we found Jerry Lane. So my mom um, used to have this like second job, I think. And so she was cleaning out this like attic with my aunt one day. And then they found this creepy little doll that looks like a boy. Um, honestly, if I was her, I'd rather it be a boy than a creepy doll. So let me go get it. Um, you guys, need, you guys really need to watch the last video because his eyes did move around him. Yeah. I kind of ripped him apart, but that's fine. I can put him back together. Oh, don't look at me. Um, I could put him back together, but I was just like did not because I was at school doing like a call and I, he was just staring at me so I decided I'll beat him up so off camera <laughs> uh so that people didn't think he was a real person like what if they thought this was a real person he's looking different one than he was but it's, it's okay remember guys if you watched that video about him the, like scary dog review then he did try to bite me yeah he tried to bite me and it was so scary because this <laughs> he's opening his mouth again this, this isn't even clickbait if it was clickbait I would be like this is clickbait at the end because that's not me okay like it's not me to be like I I wanted to do clickbait like a couple like last year when I got my YouTube channel because I thought it would be funny but like this scary doll is not funny he's like not funny if he tries if you ever find a scary doll then open okay do you ever find a scary doll in an attic or in a basement you definitely do not if it tries to bite you or if it turns its eyes you definitely do not want it in your house but like we keep him in our house because my mom thinks he's a good spirit even though he tried to bite me bite me like square up dude um so if anything paranormal activity comes you guys will see this so uh me and terry so let's see we're at the attic part so then my mom found him in an attic with my aunt, and um, it was really scary. Um, so, like, they found him in an attic with my aunt. Well, she did, and then one day she t contacted the people who had the place, and they said that my mom could just keep him. So, we... Scared people a couple of times. I got really scared because I wasn't even there to see the doll. Um, so that was pretty scary, exciting. I was going into my grandma's room, my grandma's old room because, well, yeah, my grandma's old room and I was just walking in and it was in her bed and I screamed and I started crying. It was so scary. But anyways, uh, yeah. So, after that, I feel like me and Jerry became friends. Step when you try to bite me. Um, he tries to bite me. I don't know what. But anyways, if you guys don't know how we know that his name is Jerry Lane, one day Cricket um, pulled off his weave just like this. He was like, <gasps> and snatched his weave, and his weave fell off. She tore his head off, and apparently it was Jerry Lane. So his name was Jerry Lane. So then my mom, apparently my mom searched up Jerry Lane, who actually was a famous ventriloquist who made this doll. And we all know that he's possessed by this very Jerry Lane doll. So that's so scary. I don't, I don't know. It's so terrifying about him, like, yeah, and my friend might be is possibly coming over this Friday. He's going to be sitting on this patio. She's going to freak out. And then 
Yeah, she got scared of Granny. So if I'm not scared of him, she doesn't have to be scared of him. I'm just scared of him when he moves his eyes. And stuff. But if he's like... Okay. I was holding his hand, but then he just fell. <laughs> so yeah, that's the story of little old Jerry Lane. Get your dummy little foot off me. Should I do a scary movie of Jerry Lane? I don't even know. I don't even know right now. I don't even know right now. I was going to before. He's so scary. Like, he's not too scary, but the way he was just looking at me was scary. He was like. Like that. So that is the backstory of Jerry Lane. I'm thinking of like next class and like it's like reading and writing. I'm thinking of next class for him to just be like sitting in a chair next to me. Like I don't even know. I think I'm kind of good at talking with my mouth closed honestly. You guys want to see? It's like. Hola. I'm Jerry Lane. Yes I'm. Jerry Lane, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm Jerry Lane, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm Jerry Lane, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm Jerry Lane, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm Jerry Lane, Lane, Lane! Uh, I think I'm pretty good. No, this is the right way. He looks like better with his wig off, except he has this ugly tape job like that because um, my mom did that when Cricket broke it. But yeah, that's so scary. That's so terrifying, honestly, that that was like a famous ventriloquist man who built this tall. It's so scary. And what is this wig too? But yeah, I'm gonna be scaring my class next call. So, yeah. Bye, guys. It's the Jerry Lane. Bye!